What is the grossest claim you've ever done? You have one that was you're just like, I can't believe I'm I'm about to throw up or So I got a gross one and a scary one. How about that? Sure. <laughs> I'll that do the scary is gonna be the next one. Yeah, a scary one was an empty house. Um and I got there. It was a abandoned more or less. And the front door's open. And you don't know if there's, you know, uh drifters in there. Um, you have to get in the basement because it's a freeze claim and the, the, yeah. the hot, you know, the, the lines broke in the basement, you know, so those get a little scary, you know, though, that actually one, I actually ended up luckily called law enforcement. I said, you know, Hey, the door's wide open when I got here, you know, I'm taking all these photos, like everything. And so most people, and it was a small town, so they'll accommodate, you know, the, the police, all right, let, you know, let's, you know, let's see what's in there. Then you go in and you know, drifters or whatever that they've been in there. So you don't know if they're still in there, and you and you may, you know, surprise them or whatever. Um, and then the grossest one, um, surprisingly, was in Indianapolis. Uh, uh, went to the home. It was a, uh, it was a water claim, small water claim, um, big house, and there was just um, cat litter everywhere, dog litter. Uh, feces, uh, dirty diapers just laying all over the Ooh. place, and you just, you know, it was it was pretty gross. Um, so you just kind of do the best you can and not look at that stuff orders? and just, huh? Oh yeah, for sure. Where? Yeah, I've been in a couple. Yeah. Of, I've been in three hoarder houses, like legit, like stuff stacked to the ceilings. Yeah, and you can barely walk through. And they're like, "Oh, I didn't have a yeah. chance to clean." I'm like, "Well, did you ever clean?" <laughs> like, you, you know, <laughs> yeah, because you, you well, they always say that. They always say that. They're yeah. always like, "Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't have a chance to clean." I'm like, "I'm like, ma'am or sir, I'm not here to judge you on how you live. This is your house. It's your belongs your property. I'm here to, you know, identify you with the claim. I, I, you know, I don't. Yeah. I, I that's kind of my care. go-to saying. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. you know, I. So yeah, that's, that's yeah, actually, that's you know, kind of my dirty own. Yeah. So, and adjusters are going to come across that, you know, in their career. And I think that really the best practices is because that hoarding thing. And I know this because I watch hoarders with my wife because she makes me, <laughs> and it's, it's a psychological thing, right? You know, for some, there's, they have some trauma or PTSD or something like that. And there, there's something, there's a connection there yep. where they, they just start collecting yep. stuff. Right. And so you, you have to be very, very sensitive to that, right? So when you go to somebody's house going, holy crap, look at all this stuff, you know, like, I, could, I can't believe, are you, so you're a hoarder? I mean, saying stuff like that is just absolutely oh, what no. you do. Just, you just, I mean, the person's just got to react as with no reaction, right? And I think, like you said, we're not there to, they're not going to get, I, I'm underwriting may want to know about it, but I'm not going right. to snitch on people. I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. Um, I'm going to say, you know, I, I, if, if they try to say stuff like the, ex, the excuse I got a couple times was, um, Oh, well, you know, we're, my mother-in-law's here and we're just storing all our stuff. I'm like, I, I ma'am, I, it, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just here to look at the water spot, you know, just and leave it at that. You know, I'm not walking around taking pictures of everything to show my friends. I'm, I'm, you know, and if she, if she seems nervous about it, I'm like, all I'm going to do is just take pictures in here and get the measurements, and then I'm out the front door. You know, so don't, you know, don't have to worry about whatever. Yeah. Um, and you get those claims where they're like, no, you can't go in that room. Okay, yep, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Or I've I've even had you know, hey, I I have to come and do an interior inspection because a tree fell on part of the house, and I'm like, yeah, you can't come in. Okay, I I understand that. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, thank you. I'm gonna get the full exterior, and and then you know we'll keep moving the claim forward. You know, yeah. you just yeah. you know those things. If if I can't, whatever I say in my general loss report is the exact same thing that I got to be able to say to you know to the homeowner. You know, yeah. if if I if I'm saying you know wow, like I try not to use those big words. You know, I've learned that <laughs> in the industry is you know you try to get away from don't say those big words like wow, oh my gosh, like woo, like you know don't like P -U. you. Know, yeah, you know it's just like yeah, you may think in the back of your head, you may say it in your vehicle and stuff like that, but you're not there to to you know you're there to take care of the homeowner. Like yeah. outside of taking care of the claim and the homeowner, like everything else does not matter. 
you know, that's how I've always viewed it. Yeah, I think for me, and I think I've told this story on, on Adjuster TV before, but I mean, I've seen all kinds of like conditions of houses and the, the dog poop in the middle of the floor and it's, you know, the food left out on the counter and it's just, that's disgusting. But the most disgusting thing that I ever experienced that I ever that I ever encountered was I had a claim it was for a house that I think was it, it they had just they had just evicted or kicked out the tenants and the tenants hadn't been taking care of the house at all it was a little ranch up kind of like I can't remember where it was it was like northern north central Missouri or something like that anyway which is a beautiful part of the country um so I they had a water damage on the ceiling inside of one of the, a couple of the rooms and then I did a, a roof inspection. I started on the roof, had hail damage on it, and I looked in the backyard and where there would normally be grass, like this is like a regular old like one third or one eighth acre property, right? Just right. regular old suburbs, you know, out a little way so they got a little bit of space and a, a one story ranch, big backyard and front yard, you know, garage all whole nine yards and I looked in the backyard i couldn't get in the backyard first of all because there was like these big fences and they just they're like we, you don't need to go back there i was like okay so, but i so i kind of looked in the backyard from the the roof and it was full of like eight foot tall saplings where grass should go it was a forest back there like they they hadn't taken care of the, that place for like 10 years and so i'm like okay well, that's interesting um <laughs> You know, the roof had the hail damage on it. You know, I scoped the roof and then I came down and the property owner was there. Super nice guy. And we went inside and there was no furniture in the house. And there was like the f carpet was absolutely filthy and it smelled like dogs. Like they had just pets there. Right. And the the walls were like had dirt on them about two, two or three feet up. Like people were just like had been sitting in the room, like just leaned up against the wall. Like there wasn't, they had never had furniture. Like they just, I don't think there was like, it was bizarre. And so I walked through the house to the back down to these, these two bedrooms, took my pictures of the water spots in the ceiling, got the dimensions and everything. And then I went back outside and uh, went to get in my truck to write it up. And as I was, I opened my door and as I, went to put my foot in, I looked down at my leg and I saw these little red spots on my, like my, my pants kind of came up and I was wearing like little no-show socks, right? I'm like, what is that? And they, dis they started disappearing and I was like, oh, those are fleas. So I like jumped out of the, the truck and I, I started looking at my pants. I had fleas all over my pants. And so I like, oh no, was, you know, brushing them off and it's like, I, I got them all off of there and then I like was looking around the tr truck and didn't, Got rid of the fleas, right? There was a bunch of them. So I wrote the estimate up, and um, the homeowner, or the property owner, had gone back inside while I was writing this up. And it was like noon, right? So, and the sun was like kind of really bright. It was shining right, you know. And he came out as I got went back to like give him the total and everything. And he walks over, and I see like... He's standing about, you know, three feet away from me and the light, the sun is just shining just so. And I see these fleas like jumping off of him at me, like bing, bing, bing. And I was like, dude, I was like, <laughs> can't you oh see goodness. these fleas? He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, look at your shirt. And it's like there were fleas all over him. It was disgusting. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house? On video, what about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is civility and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims adjusting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride along. Speaking of ride alongs, click here to get right along to the next video.
because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride along, get it right, just move right along. Versus ride along, it's right along, get right along to it. Thank you.